Do you guys like going to Costco? Well, I certainly do. They have so many affordable items, and I love eating at their super cheap food court. Today I'm going to Costco in Korea to show you guys what they have in the store, and I'm also going to go to their food court to try every item that they have. What kind of cool items do they have? And how is it different from the Costco in your country? Well, you're gonna have to watch the video to find out. Hey everyone, it's me, Jimmy. Today I'm here at Costco in Korea and I'm gonna do some shopping and show you guys what they have to join my amazing journey today. I have a very special friend, Ila. <laughs> I feel like you've gotten skinnier. Wait, am I not supposed to comment on a woman's body in 2023? I'm sorry. <laughs> How about I get you some groceries? You can buy as much as you want. Oh, wow. But not too much. Check out my uh, card of ultimate privilege. Check this out, I look cute. Okay, before we go to the food court, I want to see some interesting things that they have. Ooh. I'll give you a budget of over $100. How's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> my viewers will pay for this. Thanks, viewers. You look like you're doing a cosplay today, like a high school girl cosplay. I'm actually doing a cosplay right now too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, can't you tell? Hold Is on. it a Jimmy cosplay? Have you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. Does this remind you of one of the characters? <laughs> He's very tall, very muscular, super cool. <laughs> Can't think of any? No. This is a Toji cosplay. Toji? <laughs> Maybe she didn't watch the anime because I look just like him. Citrus. You know like the items here in general? Like they have what they have in the US I think. So I don't know if the US uses this that much but I feel oh. like Koreans do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they have this weight scale that gives you like your body fat percentage. Just some legal education. It is illegal for someone to be obese in Korea. Yeah, last time I got pulled over and the cop was like, hey, you look pretty heavy. Sir, so step onto the scale. We're gonna have to measure your body fat. Oh my God. Baby. They sell babies here. <laughs> I'm kidding guys. The birth rate in Korea is the lowest in the world. I don't think they have enough babies to sell at this time. At least not for the price range of Costco. Anyway, it seems that Costco in Korea has a lot of products that are made in Korea that are unique to them. They even had a Korean gaming chair. That's a nice gaming chair. You look like a real gamer. What game do you play? Call of Duty. Call of Duty? <laughs> yeah. That's very American of you. <laughs> Costco has their own seaweed in Korea. That's cool. A lot of us Koreans, we eat uh, white rice with the seaweed. And um, I remember living in Canada, some Korean kids would show up to school with their lunch packed with white rice and some of that kim. And like kids would make fun of them for eating those. What? It sounds like some Hollywood movie stuff, but so it actually cool. happens. For eating kim? Kim? A lot of the Asian friends that I had, they were like, Mom, I'm good. I I'm just going to get pizza from the cafeteria. I like their food, Mom. <laughs> no, please don't give me kimchi fried rice. It's kind of sad, right? It's very sad. I don't want to double down on the stereotype, but Ila seems to love cheese. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's the meat section. It's so expensive. Oh yeah, these are oh. Korean hanu, huh? Holy crap! Oh, look at that. That one package is like three hundred. Yeah, almost three hundred dollars. Well, just because it's Costco doesn't mean it's affordable. But they had more affordable American beef on the other side. And I love American beef too. She wants to eat healthy, buy some chicken breast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you definitely so, uh, need to lose some weight. <laughs> uh, by Korean standards. <laughs> I think by Korean standards, I'm like 50 pounds too heavy, at least. The Korean chicken looks pretty good. Garlic soy chicken. Oh, these chickens are like so affordable. They're very delicious too. They were also selling sushi and sashimi. Not gonna lie, it looked quite decent. Oh, they sell one of these yangnyam gejang. Koreans love these. How many calories is that? <laughs> Count calories. <laughs> I just eat. Oh, that looks good though. I like how there's a dedicated section of kimchi. In these veins runs very Korean blood. Oh, I'm gonna get one of them kimchi. Less than $5 for more than a kilogram of kimchi. 
my ancestors wouldn't have missed out on this deal. <laughs> and I do not just touch my butt. Touch your butt? Yeah. Like, oh. But maybe my butt's in the way. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was sticking out too much. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she, did she like slap it? She or? walked by it. Oh, it was like, bo -bom, bo -bom. Oh. <laughs> Do you know how much us Koreans love kimchi? So much that we have a dedicated fridge for kimchi. So we have this thing called kimchi fridge. And it's actually a vertical fridge where you store your kimchi. It's really cool, right? It goes it's really actually, deep. I love these Costco protein ew, bars. Ew, ew. I mean, I, I don't like how it tastes. You know, once upon a time, I had a job in the US. I was an immigrant worker. And mm. one thing that was really great about having a job in the US was that when you go to the kitchen at work, they always have a bunch of these and Coca-Cola too. Every time I finish work, I take like a protein bar, maybe two, maybe three, <laughs> and a Coca-Cola and drink one on the way home, eat one on the way home, keep the rest in my drawer. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm making this up. I'm making this up. Don't sue me. Ila was very good at budgeting everything. I think we need to get her a job at the US Central Bank and protect the world economy. But before I worry about the balance sheet of the US economy, I think I'm gonna have to worry about my own bank account because I'm about to pay for this. That was a good amount of shopping. Aren't you hungry now? You wanna go to the food court? I heard that they have some interesting things at the food court. Well, can we all agree that food court is the highlight of Costco? I love these affordable items, so I'm gonna get everything they have today. All right, we have the food here. She's going for the pork bake, whatever that is. It's hard to cut through. <laughs> Probably better to eat with our hands, I would yeah. say. Just... So it's like cheese bread. Onions, like green onions and a little bit of pork, cheese. Mm. Oh. Kind of like, it's like a hot pocket. Yeah, like a pretty good version of that. Mm. Extremely cheesy. Mm. There's like a good amount of meat in there. Mm. For some reason it reminds me of bulgogi. Oh, you know what? You're so right. The pork that's in there, it kind of tastes like pork bulgogi. Yeah. What is it that you're drinking? Bubble tea. Is this Costco bubble tea? Describe what it's like. Very concentrated bubble tea. Me, I got this KS Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice. That's a long name. It's only like a dollar. It's just like any store-bought grapefruit juice. It's pretty good. There is something that I love even more than women in this world. <laughs> what is that, Jimmy? There's very few. It's pizza. Ah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I love how Costco Pizza, they have this massive size for a pretty good deal. It's the kind of pizza that you bring to a party as a college kid, you know? I'm not particularly a fan of like super thick dough. Of course, it's not the best pizza you can find, but it's like a good textbook affordable pizza. So this is a pizza that you'll find in Costco in other countries, but they also sell bulgogi pizza in Korea, which is an exclusive item. By the way, if you guys don't know what bulgogi is, it's an extremely popular marinated beef dish in Korea. They just added some bulgogi on top of a pizza, which is actually pretty popular in Korea. Pizza franchises like Pizza Hut, Domino's Pizza, they have bulgogi pizza. Is it better than like the American style combination pepperoni pizza? Let me find out. I'm going to give you guys an unbiased opinion. So what do I think as a Korean? I like the fact that there's a lot of bulgogi on top. Mm. So that's a huge plus. Like the overall composition of the pizza, it's all right. So I like the pizza, but I would say the combo pizza is the better pizza out of the two. The sweetness of the bulgogi in the pizza form just wasn't ideal for me. You wanna show the hot dog? Yeah, I wanna show my hot dog, but pull you out, gotta pay for it. Yeah, pull out your hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh I'm... god. There you go. Alright, is that just like the US American Costco hot dog, you think? Probably. Yeah. What is different though, we have our... So they gave us this pickle that comes in a little packet. Alright, that looks pretty good. And they gave us... Onions. Onions. What a good combination. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like mustard and ketchup, but we'll add them anyway just for the authenticity of this hot dog. Yeah. Oh, 
one. You can have the big one. I'm taking the small one. Okay. I like small ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you've been in Korea for so long. <laughs> just kidding. Just, just made that up. Just made that up. He's talking about himself specifically. <laughs> no, uh, I, I respectfully disagree. You know, like a lot of Korean men claim to be, I'm an exception. <laughs> And I'm one of those guys too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's put that hot dog in my mouth. Wow. The sausage, pretty juicy. There's a good pop to it. I like it. This hot dog is nothing special about it. You can easily tell these are cheap ingredients. But I, I enjoy it. For less than $2, they give you a hot dog and a soda. So that's awesome. That's our mushroom soup. It's pretty huge. Allow me to try. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not particularly good. Oh, really? It wasn't bad, but it tasted like a bland mushroom soup that comes in a can. It's not really their fault, that's probably what it is. I just wish it was a little smaller and cheaper. Look at her, she's not happy about it. This right here is their chicken salsa wrap. It looks like a burrito. When I saw the photo, there's like a lot of avocados in there. I don't see any avocado in there. It's a thing about Korea though, like any ingredient that is expensive, they give you so little in yeah. Korea. Like it's something that I don't like about Korea. Koreans are good people, but they're a little stingy when it comes to food. There's an okay amount of chicken in there. There was a good amount of chicken, but everything tasted too bland and it was relatively expensive compared to other things that they had. Lastly, I wanted to try this ricotta salad. I'm not really a salad guy, but I just wanted to try. It came with this lemon dressing that was really sweet. I wish they had different choices for the dressing. But first, let's see how good it is. Okay, so I tried to like it, but it was just one of those salad boxes that you can buy in coffee shops. It was pretty fresh, but me personally, I'd rather get two more pieces of pizza or at least get the salad from a better place. Well, Ila, thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> the food court was, was okay. Some of them were good, some of them were not so good. Don't get the chicken wrap. <laughs> so I would say oh. overall, Korean Costco is pretty much matchable to an American Costco experience. Thank you so much. No, thank you thank for you, joining Sam me. <laughs> Sugar Samton. Go ahead and watch my other videos. It's gonna help me pay my bills. And uh, till we meet again, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs>